I want to see if you can pop the bottom out of one of these thick wine bottles. We know that it works on a Pepsi bottle and a beer bottle, but how about something as thick as this? You know, where I did the video where I slapped it and caused the bottom to break out. So we'll use this one that I cooked inside the fire. I'll put a uh, card to that video right up here. So this really doesn't prove anything because we don't know how much we've messed with the temper in this glass. Might make it harder to pop the bottom out, make, might make it easier. This is the one I'm concerned about seeing if it'll work. So we're good with the water level on that one. So I need to put some water in this one. That ought to be good. And I got my gloves right here. So let's go set up, get set up on the edge of the woods and just see. Now this isn't necessarily scientific endeavor. This is just, I'm fascinated by the pressures that happens, the cavitation at the bottom of a, of a bottle that causes the force that breaks the bottom out. All right, what's actually going on here is not, not compressing this air chamber, although I think this slug of water in here does go up some. It's the cavitation that happens at the bottom of the bottle. When you watch it in slow motion on with the other videos on YouTube, you can see that the bottle goes down and it forces, I mean, you can actually see like a vacuum chamber in here at the very bottom. So that's called cavitation. And then when the, when the weight of the water actually catches up with all that and comes slamming back down against the bottom, that's what breaks it out. It's not a pressure up here, a compression up here that's happening. It's cavitation down here. So let's give it a try. Now, you know, if you want to try this and you think it's unsafe to wear shorts, then don't wear shorts. I see no problem with wearing shorts for me. Let's give it a try. Well, I can't, absolutely cannot find it. You can imagine this being a brown bottom all in that brown brush. I can't find it, so let's break out this other one. Maybe we'll be able to find the uh, bottom of this one. I'm gonna wait for this truck to go by. All right, let's give it a try. The trick to this is to follow through, just like one of the other channels said. Don't think about hitting it and letting your hand bounce off. Think about driving your hand all the way through the bottle itself. The thickness of glass made no difference whatsoever. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.